Hey guys, welcome to another video by SM Dicing. Um, as promised, we are going to be making this video as to how to show you guys how to hit 10% harder 100% of the time. And on top of that, we have some really great giveaway results as well as some extra content. So you want to make sure you're watching to the end. Um, a lot of good things you may want to take some notes on. And of course, great intro to the video. Um, if you've never tried Spawn PK before, we have PK tournaments all the time. This is actually one of the smaller ones. Um, they do it every, I want to say, six hours. But of course, per typical s and Dicing fashion, I've actually never won a tournament. And uh, I got knocked out, even though I had probably seven to ten food on him, which is a huge margin, mind you. Um, he, like, whacked me for this, like, 600 plus HP combo when he had zero spec left. So, um, uh, <laughs> it's one of those moments. So, actually, on to the video. Um, another thing, I'm going to be going ahead and covering um, the sister server of Spawn BK, Runex, tomorrow, as I've been requested a couple times. Um, but on both servers, uh, especially this one, uh, we have the Christmas event going on, which I'll cover in a later video. I don't want to really cover it now. Um, I don't have a full understanding, and of course, I really don't want to make a video on something that I've, I've not really explored myself. However, I did promise to make this one, so let's go ahead and cover it. If you walk in Edge right here and go over to the Slayer area, uh, and the second to most recent update, they added what's called Blood Slayer. A couple of things you want to go ahead and uh, note about Blood Slayer um, is that it's very slim similar to regular Slayer, um, except there's a PKing aspect to it. However, if you are a PVMer, um, you can also uh, participate in Blood Slayer. If you go ahead and click on pick a Slayer task or click a Blood Slayer task, you'll see there's a couple of options. Uh, the Monster Hunter, which is just random monsters. Um, the Boss Hunter, which will be assigned a boss. The Bounty Hunter, where you'll have to kill between three and six Edgeville bounty hunt, uh, bounties, uh, as well as uh, Slaughter, which is the one we're going to be covering today. I'm going to go ahead and click Get Task on Slaughter. Um, and we're not going to know. It's going to it's to get credit for the task. You're going to need to wear those items. So I think I had to wear Torg Plate Body and Plate Legs. Um, in this particular case, we're not going to know it. And I'm going to tell you why a little bit later. But going on to the actual rewards. Uh, and you can see what your Blood Slayer rank is uh, here as well. Going on to the rewards shop here. Um, we have a variety of items that are going to give you some fun abilities. Um, and you can go ahead and check these out yourself. If you're a low-level PKer and or want to make some extra blood money uh, or money off blood money, as we're always talking about that in my videos, uh, in addition to using Bloodlust, you can actually further increase the amount of blood money you get uh, with these items as well. This does not take a lot of time, especially these beginning levels may take an hour max to do. Uh, it's, it's a really good investment. Now, the ones I want to go ahead and touch on are three in particular. Uh, the first one being the Blood Slayer Staff. The reason why I say the Blood Slayer Staff over any other ones in this stream is that it's going to actually make a difference in PKing. Um, can you imagine, and this is 10% more damage on Blood Slayer task targets. Uh, and when you use Slaughter, that's anybody. Again, anybody is your target when you're on the, when you're on the Slaughter mode. Um, this is going to bring some relevance back to Mage Peking as well as Mage Rushing. Um, and I just want to go ahead and I may, I may kick myself for this one because I may be the target of this. Can you imagine, especially with the new update, making Karasi a Mage uh, damage only? Can you imagine doing a Blitz spell to cross you spec? With 10% more damage, it's perfectly possible for you to hit 300, 350, even maybe even 400 with max gear to a Karasi, which can easily hit 600, 700. You're going to be max specking people in here, which could be super dangerous. Now, again, Karasi is not the most accurate, so you may fail on this one. And I'm sure you're going to be a target of raggers if you try to do it consistently. However, that's an option. Also... Blood Relic. If you're a PVMer, I cannot stress enough, this has to be the king of all of these items, regardless if you're a PVMer or a PKer, because if you have the Blood Relic, you can attach it to a regular Fuse Slayer Helm, and you get this untradeable Slayer Helm, uh, which is super OP, especially if you're doing like Wild Worm, um, Wally Worm outside of uh, your typical comfort zone, uh, when you're risking more items uh, that may be like, let's say a Twisted Bow. If you're risking a Twisted Bow, if you're risking uh, a particular ring with max drop bonus, you could be risking 60 build plus. And with this, you're just kind of kind of padding uh, your risk a little bit. Now, ultimately, this is what we want to talk about. Uh, this is the Blood Slayer book. 
the Blood Slayer book is going to be probably the most, I would say, overpowered PKing weapon out there, and I'll tell you why. Um, this guy is going to add 10% more damage on Blood Blood Slayer task targets. Again, when you are on the slay or the slaughter uh, task, everybody is your target, so you're hitting 10% more on everybody as long as you have it equipped. Now it's rank 25, which takes a good bit of time, but if you're willing to grind it, this is well worth the investment of time to get this Blood Slayer book. As long as they don't patch this, this is the most overpowered gear in game. Let me repeat that. This is the most overpowered gear in game. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the setup that I've been using. It's kind of the duplicate of what I used yesterday, um, but you'll see exactly what I mean on that. All right, we're into our very first fight. First things to go ahead and notice, uh, and I'm going to have, I'm going to have to pay attention to the fight here because I uh, I got attacked right away, um, and I'm dead, which is why you pay attention to the fight. Might as well go ahead and cover it now. Um, two things you'll notice here: one, again, I'm in bloodlust. I went ahead and found someone with a house uh, to use the bloodlust on. So hashtag Angel of Death. Uh, thank you so much, um, Angel, for letting me use your um, Bloodlust uh, Enchanted Pool. As well as you'll see, you have a 10-minute timer um, for your Blood Slayer task. If this goes away, just start a new task. Even if you do not complete it, you can start a new task. A couple of other things to mention is that I was wielding a, and I'm, I don't have boots on now, so I'll have to get them, but I was wielding the DFS. Make sure you're wielding the Blood Slayer book whenever using this method. I also lost a tier 8, so that kind of sucks, um, but hopefully we're going to go get this up to a tier 8 while making this video. All right, good luck to Neutronized. I bought back um, Primordial Boots, so at least I have some risk here. Um, make sure I have this up so I see everything. All right, I also brought with me a special spirit pet in addition to um, what you could use as a Blood Berserker uh, and or potentially, and I'm going to eat up a little bit here, uh, potentially a Corporeal Beast. Uh, I've heard is really good as well. And one of the benefits that we're going to be using um, the Holy Berserker for, uh, just because of me having the Cursed on, I'm going to be smiting people super, super quickly. Um, so, bam. That was the first example. 820. That is such a huge hit. That is such a broken hit. Um, I don't think we smited him. Did we? I don't think we did. Um, but you'll kind of get the, uh, the feel of this. I'm going to go right into another fight. Good luck, man, for the vid. Okay, we're just going to attack him. Skull, please. If he skulls, we have a chance of smiting him here, so obviously you're going to try to increase that chance. All right, there he goes. Um, all of my stats seem to be all right. Um, we're going to get him down a little bit. Just a, a, a bit of a tip. If you're using a Holy Berserker... Um, and or a holy alien um, just kind of think about where your prayer is at because uh, your opponent granted if you have not ramboed them in any capacity is probably around the same prayer points no big hits there and i probably spec a little bit too often however um, we have them a really good spot right here spec dead didn't smite him however we're getting that tier up as well as getting more blood money off to another fight we are not banking because banking is overrated. We broke his venge, so we're going to go ahead and risk it here. No! <laughs> That's another tier 6 lost. I'm trying to be a little bit riskier here. Um, lately, I've been a little bit ballsy trying to um, get bigger combos on people that are, are typically prodding. Um, not that I'm not prodding, but um, typically doing things a little bit more risky than I would prefer. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and call a spade a spade. Um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna come out in some overpowered gear. <laughs> I I've been wrecked a couple of times and I've got a little bit too cocky uh, on things. So uh, hopefully we can make up for it. What is this guy risking? Okay, well he's not really risking anything. However, um, make sure I have my praise off. Uh, we are gonna try to kill him as soon as possible. Pray. Uh, a quick note, I went ahead and swapped out the uh, Special Spirit Pet for a Balanced Spirit Pet. Um, I have one 
if you've ever watched any of my past videos, I'm a firm believer uh, that the Balanced Spirit pet is probably, uh, next to maybe the Doppelganger, probably the best pet in game. Um, and I may do a further explanation of that later. Um, but it is so overpowered. What was that hit? That was huge too. That had to be like 70 plus. Um, last video, I think we featured Primal Mall as well. So uh, with any luck, we'll get two videos in a row where we kill Primal Ball for some really good loot. So, uh, fingers crossed and big spec. Nope. And we totally look like the biggest prod asshole ever when we did that too. Drop the special pet or the balance pet. That way we get uh, some of our HP back and then we're going to go to town. Uh, break his venge and then we're going to probably unload a couple specs. One thing that I definitely like about bringing out Primal here is that um, if you are trying to prod a little bit, uh, definitely have a little more cushion with that defense that uh, that Primal brings. I'm not hitting near as well as I probably should. Again, I've hit as high as an 87 with a VLS with this book. Um, again, not trying to overemphasize it, but uh, 817. Yeah, it's ridiculous. 596, another hit maybe? Nope. Don't want to overemphasize it, but if you've not done a, uh, if you've not done Wilderness Slayer, you need to because it is going to be absolutely uh, game changing if you don't. Uh, if you do Wilderness Slayer, regardless of the wealth that you have in your bank, if you have one of these books, you're going to get higher regardless of what gear your opponent is wearing, um, and that is invaluable. Let me tell you, um, he knows that I can hit an 82 with this. 400 what can I smack I had a chance to kill him there so respect to Primal Maul shout out to you man if you're watching this video I didn't do this shout out uh, earlier but make sure you're subscribing and liking the video I really do appreciate it um, I'm about probably when uh, at the time of recording I'm about 10 hours or 12 hours in of uploading my last video and I I have so many comments thank you all for participating in what may seem like a complex giveaway uh but really it's a lot more fun that way and we're probably gonna be doing it again for this video this will probably be the last fight of the video but uh how appropriate that it is against uh primal mall again so uh we are definitely going to try to spec him out as best as we can he definitely could have killed us there and then if we uh, kill him, then we're going to drop all of his stuff uh, that we loot from him uh, to some noobs at home. So, uh, fingers crossed. Oh, shoot. Didn't, did not mean to. I was so close to killing him there. That is insane. <laughs> Alright. He's at 850. Oh, he's up to full. And I wonder if that's because of me. Oh, he killed me. How clutch. What, I wonder if that came from the DFS. I didn't see. I wonder if that came with the DFS spec. Respect to Primal Maul. <laughs> I, I may have killed him last time, but he actually killed me for a lot better loot this time. All right. Awesome stuff, guys. Finishing off the video in Sponsor Zone with my mate Bono. Love your music, bro. <laughs> um, thank you all for watching this video. Um, a little bit of a recap. The gist is get that book it's so overpowered um if you're doing things like risk fights or anything i would be cautious as to if the players in the risk fights are also using that because it does give you an advantage in risk fights um just make sure that you're gear matching um and then if you are using it nothing against it it is so much fun especially for newer players if you're a newer player that does not have enough money um to get all the untradeables like the enchanted gloves or the vigors or the pets Blood Slayer costs nothing, man. And you can get a, 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 a thing that is that overpowered. Get enough money for a VLS and you're good to go. I promise you guys it's going to be super fun for you. Uh, now for the giveaway winners. Um, I'm pre-recording this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the clips on the screen as I talk. The winner of the overall um, giveaway is going to be right here. 
the winner of the spread the love giveaway or just the comedy giveaway that i loved it was so much fun um just starting up conversations is here and then the first comment giveaway is mr wizzy i do know that for a fact so mr wizzy right here thank you all for participating in the giveaway the next giveaway is going to be even bigger um we're going to be giving away a promo package um it is now a winter promo package but we're going to be giving away a promo package um to one lucky winner the uh first comment is going to get the same 20 bill and then we're gonna be giving away another 20 bill um to the spread the love winner or whatever you want to call it um just make sure they're responding and causing conversation in the comment sections i love starting conversations i'm about to um uh, reply to all the comments on this video if you have any video suggestions go ahead uh, and make sure you're putting that in the comments down below again if you're a new player click on the referral link in the description and then tomorrow uh, i'm going to be starting up uh, a series of about three videos on rune x and then i'll be right back on spawn pk after that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to come back tomorrow watch my new video and if you haven't watched the videos in the past go in and watch them too see you guys